This premium bolt-on look hood deflector in smooth is for those of you that have a 2018 and up JL. They're looking for a piece that's going to offer a little bit of protection to that leading edge of your hood, but more than that is going to drastically change the look of your Jeep and do it much less expensively than some of the other front end modifications that you might think of, changing a grill or adding a bumper. This is going to be a very easy piece to install, one out of three wrenches as it says in the name. This is a bolt-on look, but it does not require any drilling, any bolts to get it installed. Very, very simple for the installation. I'm gonna show you how to do it in just a second. So this leading edge area of your Jeep and really of any vehicle is an area that can get beat up, especially if you do a lot of highway driving. This area can get sandblasted, it can get stone throws. I know in my 2018 JL, I already have a stone throw on that leading edge and a piece like this will offer a good bit of protection against that. And as you can tell, because of the exposed rivets and the design of this, this is also going to drastically change up the look of your Jeep. So if you wanted to add a different grill or a bumper or you know one of those other things that is an aesthetic modification for the front of the Jeep, most of those are going to come in at significantly more expensive than this is. And they're also going to be a little bit more of a difficult installation. So for something that installs very easily and comes in at right around that $120 mark, I think you're getting a lot of bang for your buck when you're looking at it as a, how much is this going to change the look of my Jeep versus how much I have to pay. So as I said before, very simple installation. Let me show you how to do it. For this installation, we needed a 10 millimeter socket and a T45 Torx screwdriver. We used a 3 ace impact to drive our socket. We also used a sharp razor knife, but you could also use a pair of scissors and a measuring tape. The first couple steps in this installation are to install some bumpers on the hood so that the deflector never makes full contact with the paint. If it does, it can cause some damage, and if you ever removed it, you could have scuffed paint. It could even wear through the paint down to the metal and cause rusting issues. So these are some very important steps. Before we install anything onto the hood, before we stick anything down, we wanna make sure that the hood is very, very clean. So this kit does include an automotive cleaning uh, wipe. It's basically just an alcohol prep pad and that's going to allow you to clean this whole area and make sure that it's free of any grease or anything that would make these not stick properly. So if the Jeep is heavily dirty, start with soap and water, then wipe it down uh, with the alcohol prep pad before you get started. So the first couple things that we're going to be installing are these small rubber bumpers. And it's very clear in the instructions exactly where these go. You work off of the center line of the hood, which is gonna be right here. You wanna find 15 and a half inches in and four and a half inches up from that le leading edge of the hood on both sides for these pieces here. So I'm just gonna set them down, I'll grab my tape measure. So from that center line on the hood, again, we're gonna come out 15 and a half, which is right here. And then four and a half up from the edge of the hood, right about here. We'll just peel the adhesive backing off of the first bumper. Just repeat the process for the other side. The next thing we're going to install is this D-shaped weather stripping piece. And this is gonna go right along the leading edge of the hood, again, to protect that area and to protect that paint. So this comes about four feet long in the instructions. It says that you can trim it down to 45 inches if you choose to. I'm gonna leave that little bit of extra on it. Certainly not going to hurt anything. But the way that you wanna install this is to find the center of it. You can either measure the center, or we're just gonna roughly fold it in half, figure out where that center mark is right here. And that's going to go center of the hood, which is gonna be right here. Then all you have to do is pull off the red protector that's over top of the adhesive and stick this down all along this leading edge of the hood. So what we'll do is peel off the backer starting in this little corner here. Sometimes it helps to use a small razor knife to get underneath the adhesive backing and, and get it started. There we go. And we'll get it stuck down, and then as we go along the edge of the hood, we'll continue to peel the adhesive off. The next thing we're gonna do is pop the hood and remove the hood catches, just the half that's actually on the hood itself because your new deflector goes underneath of those. Those help to hold it in place. So we'll get those removed and out of the way. So 
to remove these catches, we just have to remove these two small nuts on the underside of the hood. We'll do the same on the other side. Now we can put the hood back down to continue with the install. Take a quick look, see how everything is gonna line up for us. Make sure all of our weather stripping is sitting where we like it. Make sure that the holes on the ends here are gonna line up with the holes in the hood. So that right there is pretty much where our deflector is going to sit. It's not making contact with the paint anywhere, all of our weather stripping is doing its job. So now we can move on to the next step, which is installing the plastic square pieces that go underneath each of these holes that you'll put one of those stainless screws through. Now, there are a couple of different ways to do this. The installation instructions have you do it one way. I'm gonna do it a slightly different way. The install instructions would have you install the first one here and then uh, put a small mark down onto the, onto the hood through each of these holes. Use some marking tape and a template to figure out where your plastic square goes. Stick it down and then replace the deflector over top and install the screws. The way that I'm gonna do it, because I think it's a little bit more efficient and will give you a better end result, is to attach each of those square plastic pieces with the adhesive on the back, attach it right onto our deflector off of the vehicle. Then we can peel back the adhesive uh, covering and line everything up, stick it down, and then uh, just replace our hood catches on either side. That way there's no measuring, there's no adjusting, there's no marking. It's just lining everything up, sticking it down one time, and it'll be a nice clean and easy installation. So here's your plastic piece that's going to go on the underside of your deflector. So we'll put that underneath. There's a small plastic washer that goes through the deflector itself. And then you have your stainless screw. And we'll do the same for all the rivets across the deflector. Now that we have all of the rivets installed into all of our plastic pieces on the back side, we'll peel all of the red 3M backing off and the final step will be actually getting this stuck down onto the hood. We'll start the middle here, very easy to leave you a nice large tab to grab onto. Grab that and peel it off. Do the same all the way across and then get this stuck down onto the vehicle. So now we're gonna get a friend to help us align our deflector and what we're gonna use for aligning is actually the hood catch that we took off of each side. So if you press that directly through your deflector, that will get your deflector lined up perfectly on the Jeep because of the holes in the hood. So we have that done on both sides. We'll get the deflector aligned in the holes. And as long as you're both in there, you can go along and press your 3M adhesive down onto the hood. Now all we have to do is raise the hood and put the nuts back on your hood catches. Once you have the hood popped, you can just start your nuts back on here. And then we'll use our 10 millimeter socket on an impact to get them tightened down. Repeat on the other side. So you can get the hood back down and latched shut. And that's gonna do it for the installation. Now, the installation instructions do ask you to heat up the area around each of these pieces of adhesive that go on the hood here, just to make sure that they're stuck down really well. If you do wanna do that, all you have to do is remove these screws and the hood latches. The deflector itself will pop off. That'll give you access to that whole area underneath. You can make sure everything's stuck down really well and then put it back together again. 
I really like this method of installation. I feel like it's a little bit quicker, a little bit more efficient, and everything is spaced out perfectly for you. Of course, if you want to follow the install instructions exactly as they're written, they're going to get the job done as well. It's completely up to you. Regardless of how you choose to install this, if you're looking for a piece that's going to have a drastic impact on the look of the front of your Jeep, all at a much slower price than changing out the grill or adding a bumper or something like that, I would definitely take a look at this part and you can find it right here at extremeterrain.com.